We have something very cool to show all of you FJ Cruiser owners out there. We'll tell you all about it and how we installed it. And we're going to get started right now. Installation couldn't be easier. The biggest hurdle is probably the act of drilling holes into the dash. Whoa, slow down there. Don't get so drill happy. We already have Orange Box's first version installed, and some of the holes for the new one will line up with the ones we already have drilled. Okay, so it turns out that all these holes aren't going to line up with our new panel. These over here will, but we'll need to re-drill this set over here, and these we won't be using at all. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did when we put on the, uh, the first version dash panel. And that is, have a space over here, same space over here, have it straight across here. And that looks really good. Then, through these holes here, I'll mark for some new holes to be drilled. Quarter inch drill bit. Now be very careful when you drill these holes because there, there is stuff behind this panel that you don't want to drill holes through. So just only drill, just oh, right there, see? Just hold back on it. Don't get too crazy with the drill. Perfect. After our video showing how we installed the previous version, we reached out to see if anyone had a spare vent because I melted the old one a while back with a work light. To our surprise, Daryl Lewis came through for us. We want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Daryl. All right, well that fixes Mary's melt mark here and we no longer have these holes there. Some information before we go any further. The passenger side front airbag in an FJ Cruiser is located and deployed from the top of the dash. Nothing in this area has anything to do with it. That being said, when driving, the table should always be in an upright closed position. And since when inflated, the airbag comes out and down in this direction, you shouldn't have anything sharp mounted on the panel that could puncture the bag. Like almost all of Orange Box's products, this too can come customized with a logo, your name, and your choice of colors. This is going to come in real handy for eating lunch, particularly when it's raining outside. And it'll make a nice little office space for editing when we're in camp. The hinges for the drop-down table are super heavy duty, and the latch holds it totally secure in the up position. Here are some videos showing us installing other products from Orange Box Fab. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. After our video showing how we impro impo we want to give a huge shout out and a thank you. No, gosh darn it. What? That wasn't even close. Shut up, it was too. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. 